putting on vinyl decals. That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at apogeerockets.com. We're building the Vipox rocket, which is a plan that you can download from Apogee Components when you subscribe to our free newsletter. It's a book of 25 plans, and this is just one of them. Now, we're at the part where we're going to install the decals. Now, the decals that I'm putting on are the vinyl decals that are purchased separately. Now, they're optional. You can make your own decals, but if you want them pre-made like I have them here, um, we do have them available, and you get all 25 for all 25 rockets in the set. Now, these are printed on vinyl. Uh, the nice thing about vinyl is it's waterproof. It is a plastic, so you don't have to worry about getting it wet. And in fact, we are going to get it wet, and that's why I have a bowl, bowl of water right here. But my first step is to cut out the decals, because um, they're not pre-cut for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use a hobby knife and a ruler and I'm just cutting pretty close to the perimeter of the decals but I'm not cutting all the way through the backing paper I just want to cut through the vinyl and you can feel it when you're cutting with your knife you can feel um, it going through the vinyl because the vinyl is is very rubbery because it's like a plastic um, so you can feel the, the knife going through and then hitting something solid below so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting them out Use a sharp knife for this uh, because that really helps. Um, if, you, if it's too dull, you're going to be pressing too hard and you probably will go through the backing paper. Now it's okay if you do go through the backing paper, but it just makes an extra step. Um, so I try not to go through the backing paper. Just a little bit easier to remove. Okay, so I have this one out, and I'm going to look at my sheet right here. Now this decal goes um, like right in the middle right here. So I'm going to carefully lift it off, try to find that edge, just peel it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in some water. Now the secret about this water is I put in a few drops of just ordinary dishwashing soap, the stuff that you have in your kitchen. And this makes it a little bit slippery so that I can slide it around on the rocket where I want it to go. So I'm also going to put a little bit of water right there. And you can see it, it just slides around quite easily. Um, if you don't have water there, it's going to grip right away. Um, and then it's hard. then you have to carefully peel it up. Now the problem, the one problem with vinyl decals is they are stretchy. So if you start peeling it up and it starts stretching, it's not going to stretch back to what it originally was. So that's why I want to use water to prevent myself from stretching it as I'm moving it around. So I'm just going to get it into position. And it's, it's a lot like a... Um, a water slide decal at this point where you just just wipe off the excess and try to squeegee out the water that's underneath it. Now the water that's underneath will evaporate and once it does this will be down very strong. Then it's, it's kind of like you didn't put any water on it at all. Okay, just like that. Um, now I'll put on the canopy decal. And this is the bottom with the launch lug, so it's going to go right here on this fin, kind of like a fuselage canopy. This one's a little easier to see. Put it in the right spot. 
and then squeegee out the water. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the decals on. Um, and then we'll finish this up by attaching the parachute and talking about rocket stability. And yeah, and that's going to be it. <laughs> so it's easy to build a rocket from plans. Um, so again, if you've never built a rocket from plans, this is a pretty good plan pack to start with because all the rockets are pretty simple. And they look really good when they're done, as you'll see here after I get back. All my decals are on at this point and the rocket looks great. Really happy with it. It does look like that fighter type of aircraft. Um, our next thing is to get it ready for flight. Um, first thing we need to do is to, is to balance it because uh, we need to glue the shoulder onto the nose cone. Um, on the plans, you'll find where the center of pressure location is and it's measured 13, approximately three quarter inches back from the nose. Um, when you do this, you need to have everything inside the rocket. So that's why I have the parachute. I'm just gonna stuff it in there for now just to get its weight in there to see where everything balances. When you do build a rocket from a kit from a manufacturer, the manufacturer will make sure it's stable for you. But when you're building from plans, you can't take that chance if you're building from scratch, that's even, even more critical that you know what you're doing. So I'm just temporarily placing the nose cone on. Um, and then you need to put a rocket engine inside because you need the weight of the engine. Now when you do this, you use a new engine that hasn't been fired because that's heavier than an engine that has been fired. And you want to have the center of gravity as far back as it will ever be. Um, so typically I'll use the biggest engine and right now I'm using a C65 because that's the biggest heaviest engine that will fit into this this rocket um, and then I want to balance it and the nose keeps wanting to fall off that's the problem about not having having it glued so I'm gonna really ram it in there and then you just balance it on your finger and see where it balances and this rocket right now wants to balance right about there. Now, according to my center of pressure, so um, if you imagine this line here at the back of the cockpit is where it balances. Now, if I measure with a ruler from the tip of the nose cone, 3.75 inches, and that's about here. So I've got approximately that much stability. So it's about a half of a caliber of stability. So I do think I want to put in some nose weight. So I do have some modeling clay here, and I'll just cut off a chunk, and I'm just going to smash it, and then just smash it into the nose cone like this, because you want to put it as far forward as you can to make the center of gravity go forward. So now it wants to balance way out here. So that, you know, so my center of pressure is right here, my center of gravity is right here, I am good. I probably have a little bit too much nose weight, but it's better to be overstable than to be understable. Uh, so I'm gonna use some, just some super thick uh, super glue and just put that inside there. And just spin that around and it will grab pretty quick. Um, then I need to just attach the shock cord and the, new, and the parachute, and this rocket is pretty much ready to go. Um, now the parachute, I didn't go over the construction of that. Uh, we do have instructions on how to build parachutes, like this one right here, in a different video, and I'll link to that. Um, but tying the shock cord on is pretty easy also, although I do have a little bit of a knot here. You don't want to have any knots in your cord. So i got another knot right there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's attached. And then the parachute will gather up all the lines, find the middle, like that, press down in the middle, right at the apex, grab it, get all the strings the same length, and I'll pass this through the eyelet. Missing one string, where is it? There it is. Okay, so I just straighten it out like that. Open that eye right here, pass the canopy through. Keep holding at the at the where all the ends equal and then pull tight. like that. All right, so our rocket is ready to fly. I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, again, you can get these plans here at Apogee Components. They are free plans. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter. And basically what that means is that you're going to get some really good ideas. Um, you're going to get notifications to other videos like this one here. Um, and what else you get? And, and, and occasionally we all have free offers that are only for subscribers. Um, typically, it's, it's a nice little gift when you place an order with Apogee. You'll get an extra gift just for being a subscriber. So it's a really good deal to be a subscriber, plus you get the free plan. Let me put this together so we get the rocket complete so I can show you it all. All right, so this is the Vipox. I hope you enjoyed building these plans. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.